Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, you'll get a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of Mighty Cross as originally performed by Elevation Worship. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key of G and at its original tempo of 72.5 BPM. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. This patch has piano, synth, pads, arps, and bass, all triggered in the left-hand range, which stretches from here to here. Your left hand will play octaves for most of the song and single notes in the high octave of your range during some quieter parts. The right hand will play a piano riff and chords in this range and a synth lead up high from this note all the way up the rest of the keys. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. As you increase the song section control, you'll hear everything grow in intensity and some new sounds like arps and bass will get louder. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the higher octave of your left hand range and a piano riff in your right hand. Here's what the right hand will play. Here's the entire intro with both hands. This intro comes back later in the song as an interlude, and it's half as long, so just be sure to watch for that in the demo. For the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand range and a piano chords in your right hand. You can play whatever inversions of these chords that you'd like, but I'll quickly show you how I like to play them. You'll repeat this first down verse again after playing a short interlude. On this repeat, I like to add the low octave of my left hand to build and make the verse a little different. So here are both of those verses together.
For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. I play this verse pretty much the same way as the down verse. There is one last verse that comes after the bridge, and I play this one a little differently than any of the verses we played before. It will start as a quiet verse, and halfway through builds up to be a big verse. You'll start with the song section control all the way down. And you'll play single notes in the low octave of your left hand range. Your right hand will play a new piano riff up high. And here's that right hand part. Halfway through the verse, there's an immediate shift to a louder volume. You'll play octaves in your left hand and quickly move the song section control all the way up, and I usually reach my right hand over to do that. Here's this entire verse with both hands. For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but I usually voice them the same way as in the verse. Here's what the down chorus will sound like. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. This chorus and the rest of the choruses have a few extra notes in them that you don't play in the down chorus. So I'll quickly play this chorus for you. For your big chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. Here's the right hand part. This chorus also has two tags at the very end of it. So here's the entire big chorus with both hands.
For the bridge, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. Here's the synth lead part. Here's the bridge with both hands. You'll repeat this bridge one more time afterwards. And just to change it up a little bit, I like to play that synth lead as an octave lead. But you can do it however you'd like. Be sure to check out the demo to see how I move the song section control between these different sections and build the intensity of the song. Now just to review the different song section control positions, you'll start the song with the control all the way down for your intro, your down verse, your down interlude, and your down chorus. At one third will be your medium interlude, your medium verse, and your medium chorus. At two thirds will be the bridge, and then all the way up will be your big verse and your big chorus. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.